Sean Ellis is a real wolf man. As a wildlife preservationist, he has eaten, slept, and even lived with wolves. He's been the subject of two documentaries and has written The Man Who Lives With Wolves. And Sean Ellis is with us in the studio this morning. What is it like for you to be with them? I always describe it as like every day begins and ends in a miracle. And just to be a part of that for a small period of time, mm -hmm. you get to see things that many people don't. Everybody sees the, the stereotypic wolf, but there's a, a majesty to them, a, a true symbol of the wild. Right. And uh, when you're with them, it's, it's one of the last places on earth where people aren't in charge. And that's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> lovely place to be sometimes. Yeah. You are surely not in charge in a situation like that. What's the most important thing you do when you're with them to get the wolves to trust you? It's, a, it's an old-fashioned type scenario where, you know, I think so many people, so many humans are naive enough to think that they've firstly got a right to be with these creatures. Secondly, it's their right to stay with them and, and to get them to love them. For me, that was never the case. I work on a need basis with these guys because I have to, because of the lower rank that I hold. And uh, every day I have to maintain that need and, and I don't take anything for granted. The respect has to be there. So you feel like you're part of the pack? Oh God, yeah, you have to be, you know, and, and I want them to feel that I'm there doing a job for them, doing a, a function, a service, if you like. Right. So you have no designs on becoming the alpha male or the, or the leader of the pack in any way? No, no, that's a great question. I think firstly, you know, we have to establish what is an alpha. And for many young lads down, down in, in New York tonight, mm -hmm. um, after a few beers, it would be, you know, arms get put out, chest gets puffed up, and they look for a fight wherever they can find it. That's not an alpha, not in the natural world. This is an animal that will use other creatures to buffer him to save himself, to self-preserve, because he carries the weight of knowledge and experience for the entire pack. Mm, and a responsibility. And a responsibility, yeah. Very interesting. Do you think that's the most important thing you've learned in your time with these animals? I, th I think it's certainly one of them. I mean, these guys are, were, were classified in the early stages, certainly by the native people as teacher. And I think that's their connection to us. I think they still have an awful lot to offer us. And having spent that time with them, um, they've taught me an awful lot about me, about the world that we live in, about what this world is going to become, and, and maybe even a glimpse of how they could help. Mm -hmm. You've howled with the wolves. Mm -hmm. do, you have, do you have a pretty good wolf howl? Yeah, we, um, the howl for, for myself and the wolves is uh, a long-range form of communication. Yeah. It's a bit like you and I speaking on a telephone. And uh, we'll give you a general locating howl. OK. All right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. How does that sound? Wow. Let me try one on you. Yeah, go for it. That's pretty good, actually. Pretty uh, good. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I'll come hang out with you sometime. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's good. It's good. good. Great to see you. <laughs> you too. Thank you so much. Do appreciate Thank it. You. Sean Ellis. To read an excerpt from Sean's book, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. I think it was actually a coyote, man. <laughs> <laughs>